Hey buddies, I'm having a little fun with what I call grown-up Jenga. <clears throat> My newest uh, oddly satisfying thing to do is build closets on the IKEA website. They have a planner tool for every system and I've used it twice before when I designed my uh, closet in my bedroom and the one in the in uh, the other bedroom and I use the El Varley system and it's so simple you you come in and you input the, the dimensions of the closet and then you find the pieces of um, uh, of cabinets and drawers and what what and whatever and you just click and drag it into the space and you have a choice between the the widths and the depths and the height, the colors. I mean, there's so many things you can do to personalize it. And it's just so much fun to pretend you have money to do it. And by pretend to have money to do it, this is what I mean. This system that I just designed for fun for my bestie is over $2,000. If we were to pull the trigger and buy it, but we're not. I'm just having fun. So I was over at her house today and I'm like, what's the dimensions of this closet? You know, I've already designed dream closets for myself. I'm going to design a dream closet for you. So she gave me the, the approximate specs. And so I've, the last hour, I've put this closet together and it's just so fun. Uh, what wall you don't see is this one here that faces that way like we would see the like we see the back here on the right wall the wall here i'm not even designing it because we can't see it so this would be a space here there's enough room left from here to the wall for three more cabinets like this that are 39 inches wide 22 inches deep and uh, if i uh, was able to put it on here i would include it to be three more cabinets just like this 39 inches wide, 22 inches deep. And the bottom three rows on all three would be three pull-out trays that would all together would hold about 60 pair of shoes. And then all the way up, I would continue with plain shelves, not glass shelves, but plain shelves, except the very top, I would make glass shelves because 22 inches deep, when you get this high, this is 92, almost 93 inches high. Uh, you you don't want to get on a ladder to see what's way back there. So I figured a glass shelf on this imaginary fantasy closet would be great because you could see under there and see what was all the way back there. So um, this these cabinets are not here because we wouldn't be able to see them. But I'm going to show you what I imagined for her closet. So when you walk into this closet right here is a door on a diagonal. So I left plenty of room for that. If they were to build this, once it was in place, they'd see if there was any additional um, space left over. And of course, a 19 inch cabinet could go there. And I would fill it with nothing but glass shelves to put little um, things that she'd want to display, like favorite purses or such, such as that. So these first two cabinets, I told you these three are 39 inches wide. These first two are 29 inch wide, 22 inch deep. Starting at the top, like I said before, the glass shelf on the top. So anything that was pushed back to the back, you could see from underneath. Under that, rods to hang clothes. But I would suggest... If she were to purchase this, I would suggest she'd only hang shorter items here, like maybe um, uh, pretty dress shirts or even uh, slacks hung over like this <coughs> so as not to cover up the next thing. The next thing is two more glass shelves. Under that is a pull-out tray where she could pull it out and put any sort of jewelry any sort of belts, wallets, sunglasses, and you could see through the the top glass. They'd be displayed pretty. Under that pull-out tray is another pull-out tray, but these have the pretty felt inserts for all kind of jewelry. So there'd be two. Underneath that is four glass front drawers. And <clears throat> I don't know of any IKEA drawer made that is not a soft closed drawer. 
Sorry, my bakery friend. Sorry, I'm not rubbing it in your face. <laughs> I have a very, very good friend that I just adore, and she uh, gets very miffed when she sees people that have soft closed drawers, just the way I get miffed when I see people with beautiful built-in cabinets. I truly believe everybody in the world but me has built-in cabinets. So, <clears throat> so that's what's over here. These uh, total of eight glass front drawers. She could put anything in there, workout clothes, t-shirts, uh, jeans, anything she wanted to. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And uh, with that glass front, she'd always know what was inside there. So I'm spinning it around to show uh, the back wall. Uh, these are the three 39 inch wide cabinets, 22 inches deep, which is perfect for hanging clothes. They also come in a 13 inch deep. <clears throat> and that's what I would recommend for this back wall. <clears throat> but uh, the 29, I'm sorry, the 22 inch deep, again, the glass shells at the very top. So she could put any bag, um, cowboy hats, anything up there. And if they got pushed back too far, she could see under work, underneath. So <clears throat> even though I have the glass shelves there and the glass shelf there, here, it's just a plain shelf. It's a solid wood shelf with more to hang on the bottom. And I think I hit the wrong direction again. Did I hit the wrong direction again? Nope, here we go. Now the far right wall. <coughs> I would see this little teeny tiny section over here would be good for her husband. Ha ha ha. She has all the other stuff. He could have this. I'm just kidding. Again, uh, if you can see my mouse. At the very, very top, two glass shelves, two uh, poles for hanging clothes. Again, <clears throat> a solid shelf here, and then underneath it is the glass front drawers. Oh, I think I picked the wrong one. Oh, look at that. The, the one on the left is framed, and the one on the right is not. I think I picked the wrong one, but anyway, or maybe that's just the way the shadow is showing. It's really cute, this planner. When you turn it left and right, it you see it shows the shadows in there, which is kind of funny. So... The last cabinet is their 20, uh, I'm sorry, 19 and a half inch wide. And on this one, I put a glass shelf at the top and then a rod and then anything long she could put here. Dresses, coats, um, suits and, and garment bags, anything like that. So <clears throat> keeping in mind, um, her existing closet has right here uh, more hangings coming into the center of the closet. It, it may at first sight look like I've cut her her clothing in half but uh I don't I don't know um the mock-up here shows very little clothes hanging up but in reality you can hang probably 50 items here so she still has there there a lot of clothes can go in here and then again there's a lot of storage space here of course these pack systems, if you ever change your mind, you can pull these drawers out and put another rod down there and have more hang. They're so um, customizable every way. I'm really jealous about it. I, I've designed one for myself, and that's my lust item for the future. <clears throat> and it's kind of funny to uh, lust for a Ikea closet. They look great, and uh, they've been around for years and years and years and years and years. And I love this tool. You can even... Um, I did kill the corner spaces. I did kill that because I like the way the cabinets are flush there in the corner. And I'm and I understand every square tiny itty bitty inch counts. I understand that. But uh IKEA just does not make a, a nice, in my opinion, a nice um corner closet. <clears throat> it's oops, I'm going the wrong way. It's, I, I don't like it. The corner closet they make is basically two cabinets put together where you have clothes that go back around the shelf here. And I don't like the look of it. I don't understand paying $170 more when you could just shove this one into the corner and then reach around, which is the same principle of that um, cabinet that they make that is uh, designed to go into the um, corner which I'm just not crazy about. So last thing I do before I sign off for here, I'm going to bring this down so that you can see the dimensions everywhere, everywhere. It's so simple. If you were to click and drag something into this mock-up, if it wouldn't fit, it'd be outlined in red. You'd have no question, 
no question whatsoever you would you would know right away that it's not going to fit and you need to adjust so you see there's corner space here that is dead space um I, I understand every little inch counts but again i just like the way this flush it's flush there i really like that and, uh, of course, there's room to pull these out. Pull these out if there were to be a corner section by maybe a, another company. Uh, there are so many stores that make this type of uh, wood cabinet. And this is really cool how you can see all um, angles of this. So it's, it's really fun. I call it my, my grown-up Jenga. It's, <laughs> I really like doing it. It's really fun to uh, fantasize with a, a perfect beautiful closet so anyway that's what i'm doing now because i am uh procrastinating shutting this down and cooking dinner so i'm going to do this now so this is for you my bestie natasha if i had the money if i had the money i would i would order it and have it and even pay to have it delivered and pay to have it installed just for fun not not that you don't have a beautiful closet already but just for fun. Anywho, hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Just a few hours, I'm going to go to bed and get ready for my first day of my hitch on day shift and won't be back for seven days. So have a wonderful week. Bye.